A federal judge ruling White House communications with social media firms may present the biggest, quote, attack on free speech in U.S. history as he determines their collusion resulted in censorship and blocks any further meetings, for now at least. In his ruling, Judge Dowdy says, quote, during the COVID-19 pandemic, a period perhaps best characterized by widespread doubt and uncertainty, the United States government seems to have assumed a role similar to an Orwellian minister of truth. Tough words. Our next guest is one of the lawmakers who sued the administration for its collusion with big tech. Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry joins us now. Welcome, Attorney General. Well, good morning. Good morning. I, I want to start here. I have the memo of this injunction here, page nine. Something interesting. This was on January 23rd, 2021, three days after President Biden took office. Clark Humphrey, who at the time was the digital director for the COVID-19 response team, emailed Twitter and requested the removal of anti-COVID-19 vaccine tweet by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Uh, he said this individual in the White House, hey folks, wanted to flag the below tweet and wondering if we can get it removed or have it in the process of being removed ASAP. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. went on to be the president's political opponent. This is stunning. Yeah, this is. I mean, look, it's unbelievable the amount of information and the discovery that we were able to obtain through this particular case should concern all Americans, irrespective of their political ideology, their party affiliation. This is a completely direct violation of the First Amendment. And as the judge says, in his opinion, it's what we call viewpoint discrimination. It is when Americans out there are muzzled when they're trying to ask questions or basically oppose policies that their government is imposing on them. And it didn't matter. This government didn't care whether you are a Democrat or Republican. Your example is right on point. I mean, here we have Robert Kennedy Jr. This is the son of the former U.S. Attorney General, the nephew of a distinguished U.S. Senator, by the way, a Democrat, and a nephew of the former President of the United States. I mean, it's unbelievable. Attorney General, I was among the censored. I was White House press secretary at the time on my personal account. I shared the New York Post story on Hunter Biden's laptop, and I was banned from Twitter. It's why I took particular interest, page 59 to 60 of this legal document. You talk about these meetings between the FBI and these social media companies in the lead up to the 2020 election. They were apparently rooting out misinformation. Were these uh, meetings par for the course, or was something more sinister going on here? No, look, I think the judge basically spells it out. He does it in his great 120-page opinion. He takes things step by step. He says, look, the government went out there and censored American speech on COVID-19, on vaccine policies, on mass mandates, on election questions, and the Hunter Biden laptop. The FBI knew that the Hunter Biden laptop was real, mm -hmm. and yet they told the social media platforms that to, to be on the lookout for Russian interference. And then the Hunter Biden laptop story comes out. They never go back and tell the social media companies, oh, this is a real thing. They allow the social media companies to take down the New York Post uh, articles and basically debunk the whole myth that the Hunter Biden laptop was actually real. I mean, think about that. We know. The one thing that we do know is that that story would have absolutely tilted the election no in doubt. favor of then President Donald Trump. Attorney General, I just have 15 seconds here, but if this is appealed by the government, do you believe you'll win on appeal? I do. I do. I believe this is one of the most important cases, First Amendment cases in this century. I've got to tell you, this is one of the most stunning rulings I've ever read. Thank you, Jeff Landry.